Hey YouTube, Solar System here, coming at you with another Star Made video. Uh, this one's going to be a how-to. I don't know if anyone's figured out how to do this yet. Uh, I'm sure there's some clever guys out there that have. Um, I was going to be creating a uh, a really professional grade intro video for Mushroom Fleet, something that uh, like like if you see the the Eve trailers, probably not that good, but hey, this is something to shoot for. And um, I was thinking, how, how am I going to get the, the green screen in there to knock the ships out of the background and, and put in my own effects? So I thought maybe the game will allow me to put a green uh, mat for the background instead of having the starry background. So uh, I used my head, went to the data folder inside the star made uh, directory, uh, went to sky. You see that I've got my sky folder backed up here, so do that before you do any of this. Um, went to sky. Uh, ignore the generic folder and go to Milky Way. And these are your six images that uh, Schema is using for the background images. And they, they wrap around the Star Made universe like a box. You ever put a pizza box together? Um, that's how it works. And in order to figure out how exactly they're arrayed, um, I put these numbers on them uh, sequentially. And in the Star Made universe, they popped up. And you see there's one, six, four. They're inverted, but that doesn't really matter. And there's one on the top and one on the bottom. So I went online and found myself a nice uh, stellar image for, for the Star Made Universe background. And I created a mask in Photoshop that shows exactly which portions of it will be shown inside Star Made. And this is it. And at this point, uh, we're not done yet. It will work like this, but uh, there will be edges. You'll be able to see edges. If you can picture this edge right here being folded over onto this edge right here, uh, you'll see that there's going to be a lot of blue here, and then all of a sudden it's going to stop. There's going to be a bunch of black. So you're going to be able to see edges inside of the Star Made Universe. And while that's okay, it'll work, uh, I'm not happy with that. So what I would do is I would take my clone stamp tool in Photoshop. I would select, make sure I have this background selected. And I would select this area right here. And you can see it's giving me a preview here. By the way, if you right click, you, it'll, you can change your, uh, the size of your brush. And I've got it at about 350 here. And I've got the flow at 100% and opacity at 80-ish 80, 80 percent. And I'm going to select, press Alt and select this dark area right here. And I'll click. And it's going to duplicate that dark area uh, where I click. So you can see I'm creating a dark edge around the edges of this image. I'm going to go ahead and do this and uh, come back to you. Okay, so all the edges are darkened to the point that uh, you're probably not going to be able to see an edge inside the game. Uh, if it needs to be tweaked, we can certainly do that uh, later. Uh, so the next step is to slice six images out of here. And uh, the first thing I would do at that point is check, uh, check my layout. Okay. So I'm going to slice the top right one out first, uh, and, and the next thing I have to check is to see which what size it is. Okay, here's the original image from Schema, and it says, okay, so it's 512 by 512. So I know I'm going to have to slice each image out 512 by 512. So I'm going to zoom in here on the top, and I'm going to begin selecting. Okay, you can see my measurements are up there. And that's 510 by 510, 512 by, I don't know, 512. Okay, so that's 512 by 512. I'm going to edit, copy. I'm going to do file, new. Uh, Photoshop knows that you're going to try to cut, paste this into the next image that you create, so it automatically resizes to 512 by 512. I'm going to go to edit, paste. I'm going to go to file save as do not save for web I've already tried that and the game will crash if you use the save for web feature in Photoshop switch to PNG uh, you need your file type needs to be PNG and I'm gonna just double click and replace it uh, excuse me I'm gonna replace number five right here okay I'm gonna confirm that that's saved I'll go here boom boom data Sky, Milky Way. Okay, and you can see that number's gone, so that did save. Uh, I'm going to go through and do the rest of these and uh, see you sh shortly. Okay, I have all six images switched out. Um, there, there's a small caveat here, uh, and I don't know exactly why it's happening, but I what I had to end up do is 
open the original image uh, from within the StarMate directory, uh, the original one, not, not the one you're looking at here. Uh, I had to open that in Photoshop and then paste the image on top of that. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, something gets lost in translation if you uh, create a new image in Photoshop, but you have to open the old image first and then paste your image on top of the old image, making it a new image, like so, and then you have to go to File, Save As, do not use uh, Save for Web, you have to do Save As, and then switch it to your file format, which is, uh, in this case, always going to be PNG. And that, that worked. It took me a little bit to figure that out, but that worked. And I'll show you inside the game. Boom. Uh, all images have been replaced. I'm not seeing any edges. Uh, there is a problem, uh, and that is that apparently the the image that I used is not high enough resolution uh, so that these are, are quite blurred in fact you can yeah it looks terrible I'm gonna just have to go with a higher resolution image next time uh, might have to step it up to 2500 by 2000 or something like that but uh, anyway yeah that's how you change your background in StarMate and I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time